in DD. One down, one to go. One down, one to go. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, God, this litter is just so beautiful, too. They're just, you know, Rachel and her pops were just so excited, you know, to, to see these dogs. And even her pops was pretty impressed on how these dogs were looking. So, um, you know, on this litter right here, definitely, you know, it feels good. It feels good to know that you put in the work and you know that it that it can come out so well um it's not just two dogs getting together mating and then the puppies are born and that's that you know what i mean there's there's a ton of work that goes in in this eight nine week process you know from when they're born to when they're actually going home um <clears throat> and it comes with a lot of uh you know just spending time with them of course cleaning the kennel you know cleaning their area constantly um you know feeding them you know once you switch them off a of mom over to the regular food you know how much and what are you feeding them things like that you know just making sure that they have a, a good strong you know loving environment um not just from myself not just from their mom but you know my kids come up here and spend time with them uh my daughter was out here you know from the box state you know she was out here for the summer and she spent a crazy amount of time with these dogs so that was really good to see you know it, it really helps them develop you know a good temperament because a lot of these dogs end up going home to families you know with kids uh, and even the ones that don't I still want them to have that excellent temperament because you know even though somebody may not have kids running around their house you know they still know people that have these younger kids or you know you still have friends and family that want to come over and, and you know enjoy your company and you don't want to have to have a dog that you're always sticking in the back room because they're just trying to chew through walls to get at people. You know, there's a time and a place for your dog to be, you know, protective and aggressive. And, you know, just simple visitors is not that time. So, now if those visitors are popping up when you're not there, mm, that's on them, right? So, we got my guy coming now, Mr. Carlos, just waiting for him to pull up. Um... He seems to be a really good dude. You know, I've talked to him a few times, man. He's a good cat. You know, I, I dig his vibe, you know. And, and like I said before, this is one of the benefits of doing what I do is getting to meet all these wonderful, fantastic people. Um, I really, really do enjoy that. I do, guys. Almost every single person that I've dealt with has just been nothing but, you know, a blessing to just be able to sit and talk to and, and spend a little bit of time with and get to know their backgrounds and, and what they're up to in life and where they've come from, things like that. You know, because we all have a different story. Um, even though yours may be tough, there's somebody else with a tougher one. Or, you know, we just come from different backgrounds and, and you know, things like that. So it's really cool to get to meet these people. You know, I really do enjoy it. And I, and I definitely appreciate the opportunity to do what I do to be able to do so. You know what I mean? So, you know, thank you guys for everybody that puts their, their, their trust in us and that, you know, shows us that love. And, you know, regardless if, if you've, you know, gotten a dog or you're waiting for a dog or anything else, just the amount of people that just show us love and support just because they enjoy what we're doing and how we're doing it. You know, thank you guys for that. You know, and, and I promise to stay me. You know, I promise to, you know, keep this, this open book that we have. And I promise to keep it positive, you know, at all times. So... You know, like I said before, that negative, we just get that out of here. So we're going to get my guy up here. He's on his way. So as soon as he gets here, we'll tap on this record and uh, we'll see which one he picks. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right. Here we go. Is there a little something on his ear? Um, yeah. Yep. That's him. Yeah. That's him. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, they, they relax a little bit. Plus they were up here getting wild with the other two for, you know, with Rachel while she was up here, so. They way bigger in person. Right? That camera don't do no justice, isn't no. it? <laughs> I, I, I wasn't expecting it to be this big, bro. Not at this early age, like. Yeah, well, where are we at? Just a couple days over eight weeks? God. Yes, sir. Goodness. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's it? That's the one? Yeah, that's the one right there. <laughs> I bet yeah. we'll put the other ones up. We're heading to the office. Yeah, this is the one right there. Yeah, my kids are going to love them too. They, they don't even know. He is nice too. <laughs> all right, guys. All right, guys. So we got number two in the house picking up today. 
I'm gonna go on ahead and let him introduce himself. We got Carlos. Got Carlos. Where are you from, Carlos? Uh, I'm from originally from, from Moss Point, Mississippi, but I reside in Texas right now. Okay, okay. You out there by my brother, ain't you? Yeah. Yeah, okay, right down the street. Yeah, a couple minutes away. <laughs> but yeah, here you are. So we love it. So we love it. We appreciate it. But it's, I mean, it's all in the family. You know what I mean? It's all, they're all the same dogs. Yeah. So, you know, no difference. Um, what's his name? Uh, we uh, we got two names right now. All right. So I'm going to let, let my own let kids pick. choose when, when, when we get back. What, what are the two? Because this, this video won't come out until after you already name them and the kids oh, have already seen them. Is it going to be um, Kane or Ghost? Kane or Ghost. Yeah. Okay. I've had two canes, so yep, yep, yep. That was actually one of my first. I had two brothers, and it was cane and smoke. So oh, that's funny. Man. Yeah, that's awesome, man. So how you feel? Uh, I'm, I'm really excited. I I, I wasn't expect, expecting to be this big at, at this early of age. This is huge. When I was watching your videos, I seen them. I was like, oh, they yeah, they they look big, but when you see them in person, like good right. like <laughs> man, they, these things are real. Yeah, yeah. They, the camera doesn't do them justice. I try to tell people that when they call me all the time. I'm like, look, even when they're looking at my other dogs, I'm like, the camera just doesn't do them justice. It doesn't, you know. Big, beautiful too. That's awesome. That's awesome. So you got a? Uh, you said you got the kids at home. What, what, what do you got at home? How many kids? Uh, I got two girls, one boy. I got um, my oldest girl. She's twelve, and five year old girl. And my boy. These two. Oh, okay, okay. So they get to name them and, and go through the whole process, and, and they don't even know, right? You're they telling me. They don't even know. They don't even know they're getting dog. They don't know. That is awesome. That is awesome. You gotta send me a pic with the, with the kids and the dog too, man. You got the kids and the puppy. You know, what I mean? <laughs> we put those pictures out there for everybody to see, just to you know, just to let it be known. Um, and they come from, you know, they. I, I have kids. You know, my grandson's in the house now. He's 18 months old too. So they have kids around them. They've been raised around them. So. You know, the temperament's really good. As you can see, he's all chill and relaxed, so. Well, that's awesome, man, that's awesome. Uh, anybody want to shout out to you? Want to shout out to the babies or anything like that? They, they, you know, they get a chance to watch oh, the yeah, video. Bro. Um, y'all get to see this, y'all gonna be real surprised, man. I'm gonna see y'all when I get home. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. There you have it. That's awesome, you get a close up of that dude. Big boy. He's already looking like his dad, though. Oh, that face. Yeah, man. He might end up being bigger than his dad. Yeah, I'll show you Big Ace once we get outside, too. You'll you'll be able to see the difference of the camera on that one, too. You know what I mean? How it just kind of doesn't. Yeah. All right, guys. So there you have it. You know, we, we got Carlos on there, you know. Second pickup for the day, you know, I'll probably just merge these videos together, you know, just one nice, long, beautiful video. But, uh, you know, just showing everybody what we're doing out here. You know, it's 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 an honest game that we're running over here. You know what I mean? And you guys know what I have. You know, when I tell you guys that all these dogs came out of, you know, Butler's Butler's yard, basically, I mean that. You know, I, I have I do have that top quality. Um, I started with what I started with for a reason. You know what I mean? You start with concrete on, as the platform and you can't go wrong. So... You know, if you guys are looking, just make sure you guys reach out. Um, you know, you'll be holding one of these dogs too. That's a big man holding that dog, and you see how big that dog is, right? So imagine somebody a lot smaller in here trying to hold that big old dog, right? So we appreciate you guys tuning in, right? Around for him one more time. See that guy? He's pretty, man. Don't do justice, right? <laughs> that man is huge. Isn't she huge? She's talking about you, big head. Look at him. His head is big. He's got more head than he got body. That's a big old head, man. What, Mula? Get away from me. Pay attention to your son. <laughs> now I'm getting rid of him. Mm, yep. <laughs> she got rid of him weeks ago. She said, I was rid of him when I stopped feeding him, Pops. What are you talking about? She got, she got big head too. Yeah, she's, she's, she's a monster. That's, um, that's Hulk's daughter.
sergeant's calm. She said, nope, none of that. <laughs> The other one just tried it too. She, she was like, mm, sidestepped him quick. <laughs> Boogie, don't you start. She knows. She soaks it up every minute, too. She's not as bad as him, though. He's such a ham for the camera. It makes me sick. It's like he knows. You know what I mean? And then he doesn't give me those good devious looks. Like, you know, when they crop their ears, they go back nice and low. And all of a sudden, he looks like he's just America's sweetheart. I'm like, nah, man. Man, that man is big. Hey, Cito, papi. So I would let him out, but I got one in heat over here. Oh, and she's skipping the heat anyway, so I don't he'll he'll just run over to her and start whining. <laughs> but you've seen the video, so you know he's cool. He ain't gonna you know yeah. while I'm here he's chill. What you doing big boy? <laughs> What's up little bubba? What's up, man? Huh? <laughs> All right, guys, so that was cool. That was cool. Carlos, man, he was he was fun. Um, I don't think I really did as long of a recording with him, but we actually sat outside and chopped it up for, you know, over an hour easy. Um, good dude, man. Good dude. That's a cool cat right there. Also that, you know, I was able to gain a little, you know, more background on him. Um, he's going to be getting deployed shortly. You know, he's in the military, so everybody give him a big shout out for that. You know, just like I told him, you know, thank you for your service. You know, we appreciate it. You know, um, it's, it's real out there. It's real out there for the guys that are in the military, so... You know, I personally show, you know, as much love as I can to them, um, you know, doing what they do. So much love to that, you know, um, you know, safe travels and safe return. You know, make sure you get back to that family nice and safe and sound. And, um, you know, I'm quite sure you're going to miss your little baby boy while you're gone, you know, but, you know, he'll be in good hands with your wife and kids. All right, brother. So peace out to him for that. And, um, yeah, we're done for the day. Two puppy pickups. It was awesome. Uh, you know, got to meet, you know, three really great people. Um, you know, Rachel and her dad, that was fun, you know, and then being able to sit there and chop it up with Carlos. Um, funny thing is, while we were sitting there talking and we were out there, like I said, for about an hour, and of course we had his little man running around, as you saw, you know, right before I jumped on here doing this part, you know, I had the record button still going when, when little man was outside running around with his mom. Um, out of nowhere, out of the corner of his eye, he spotted a little coyote um, coming up through my neighbor's yard. and. Lo and behold, yeah, it was a coyote coming out, and it was, it's like noon. So, you know, that was, that was pretty bold of that little dude to come out of the woods like that, and he came pretty far into my neighbor's yard. I think he was looking at one of the fruit trees, and he was kind of eating something off the ground. So, um, you know, I was definitely watching him, making sure everything was good, but hey, welcome to the South. You know, it's just, it's part of the game. Uh, we used to have them all around my house, too, in Colorado, so, you know, I lived next to a, you know, national park uh, lake, you know. So state lake should i say out there and you know my backyard was a green belt so we had you know all kind of stuff back there and you could hear those coyotes at night so it's nothing new for me but to see one come out in the yard like that in the middle of the day that was really bold that was really trippy but like i said welcome to the south you know i wish i wish i would have thought about hitting the camera but i was really just watching to make sure that he didn't come you know they weren't coming closer to us so yeah that's it for today guys um, thank you guys for tuning in. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, if you guys haven't hit that subscribe button yet, hit it. We're getting really close, at least to our first little plateau. You know, once we get there, then of course we're going to look ahead and look look to the future and look to grow and do even better. So, you know, we appreciate you guys and we're getting close. So yeah, keep keep uh, hitting those like buttons and keep tuning in and hopefully I can just keep bringing you guys good content. All right. We will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Love ya.
Thank you.